Hey everybody, raise your hand if you love peach cobbler. Mine is raised. Now, raise your hand really, really high if you like easy made peach cobbler. Mine's way, way, way up there, almost to the ceiling. Today I'm going to show you how I make a peach cobbler using a classic white cake mix. Now this is Duncan Hines cake mix. I'm not advertising for Duncan Hines. I do like their product, but I'm not advertising. I don't get paid. And I'm also using two cans. Um, this is a 15 and a quarter, 15.25 ounce can of sliced peaches in heavy syrup. And I'll be using two cans of that. And I'm using the peaches in the heavy syrup because there is no sugar that's added to this recipe. A half a stick of butter, a dash of cinnamon, and that is it. We're gonna have a delicious, easy peasy peach cobbler in just no time. Okay, let's get started and make this easy peasy peach cobbler. I'm starting out with two cans of sliced peaches in its own juice. And I'm using Del Monte, again, I'm not getting paid for this, but this is sliced peaches uh, in the heavy syrup. So we'll place both of our cans of peaches in the um, baking dish here, and I did not spray this. And I see a little piece of um, the seed right there. You'll wanna check your peaches, and if you see something like that, then you need to take it out. But that just happens, and it doesn't mean anything's wrong with the peaches. It just means that you need to take it out. So um, we have our peaches in our baking dish. Now we're going to sprinkle just a tiny bit of cinnamon. Now you can sprinkle as much as you want to. You could even uh, put some nutmeg. If you like nutmeg, you could do that. Now I have on some gloves because I'm gonna be working with this butter. I have a half a stick of butter and um, I've cut it in small pieces. And what we want to do is to just uh, place it I'm not doing too well with this, am I? Let me figure something else out. Um, we just want to pat it, put little pats uh, on top of the peaches all over. And I'll do this as quickly as I can. So we just want to put our butter, good old butter, and I'm using salted butter. If you wanted to use unsalted butter, you could do that. So I'm just cutting the butter making it easy, making it quick, making it simple. Y'all, this is going to be delicious. You know, we all are familiar with that recipe where it's a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, um, and a cup of milk, and um, mix that up, pour it in a pan, and um, put your peaches in there and bake it, and that's delicious too. And then there are other recipes that um, you can use that calls for uh, pie filling, that you can use with cake mixes. I think those might be called uh, dump cakes. I'm not sure about that. I don't make those um, very often. Sometimes I'll make it, but sometimes I don't. So now we have our butter, and now we're ready to come in with our cake mix. Now I told you that I'm using a white cake mix. Again, I don't, I'm not advertising for Duck and Hines. But this white cake mix, I'm only going to use half of it. So I've already opened it up and measured it out and half of this cake mix is one and three-fourths of a cup. So I'm just sprinkling this on top of the peaches. Now this is a lot of cake mix. You would think you would use the whole uh, box, but you don't need it for just two cans of peaches. So I'm just pouring that on top like that, kind of sprinkling it, spreading it out evenly. And now I want to stir it around a little bit. And the reason that I want to stir it around a little bit is to partially wet this cake mix. So I'm just stirring it around in the baking dish. Put a little bit on top, just like that. Mm -mm. This is already smelling good, my goodness. Whew. Yum, this is going to be so, so good, so delicious. I know it is. Mm. Okay, now we're ready to go in the oven. That's not 
stirred in good enough there, is it? That was a little dry. So I'm just continuing to stir it in. Our butter's all mixed in. I'm going to use my finger. I've got on gloves and write this off. We'll put it in the oven. We'll bake it for about 30, 35 minutes on um, uh, 350 degrees. And when it gets done, guess what? I'll be back. Our easy peasy peach cobbler is done. You don't want it to get too brown. If you do, it's going to be dry. This baked 32 minutes and it looks delicious. So now you can see it over here on the edges, how it's bubbling a little bit. We're going to take it out and let it rest and then we'll come back and serve it. Okay, let's dip some of our Easy Peasy Peach Cobbler and see how it looks. Oh, yum. I already see those peaches, don't you? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Let me bring it up here. I want you to see this. Mmm. Look at that. That looks so, so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh. You know what we've got to do now? We've got to top it with some ice cream. So let me just bring this over here. I'll set this down. I'll bring my ice cream around here. And I'll see if I can dip some ice cream to go on top. Let's see. I'll need a little spoon. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, that looks so, so so delicious. Now, Doug will want more ice cream on his. I'm just going to put a little mint leaf on it. And there you have it. Beautiful, easy peasy peach pie. I can't wait to taste. I wanted to bring you up close again and just show you how beautifully this uh, easy peasy peach pie serves. It is just so, so beautiful and so, so delicious. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. Thank you for helping me to make this easy peasy uh, peach cobbler. And so now let's taste it. And don't forget, we're on Facebook and YouTube. And you can um, share, you can like, and I would appreciate that. So here we go. It's going to be delicious. I know it is. Mmm. Mmm. Just letting it rest those few minutes. Um helped it to cobble. My son-in-law says he likes his peach cobbler cobbled. So anyway, I wish you were here, Don, to, to enjoy some with me. Until next time, be safe, and I'll see you again really, really soon.